Stone Crafting Workshop. Welcome. Today I'm going to try and carve a feather on a piece of pink Indian sandstone. I'm going to use the flex drive on the Ferrex grinder. And I know I've used it for bits and pieces. I haven't used it for much. So I'll be interested to see how it works compared to my standard um, rotary grinder, the Parkside one, and I'm quite interested to see how that works. Um, and what I'm going to carve is a feather. I've been told that feathers are in, trendy. I don't really know about such things, so I'm taking people's word for it, and I'll have a go. It seems a ridiculous thing to try and carve in stone, but um, that makes it more attractive to try. So join me in the workshop and uh, let's see how I get on. So I've already drawn this out. I just drew it freehand. I'm going to rely on my carving skills to do better curves. I'm going to start off, I've planned this, I'm going to start off using this. It's a, a wheel, a diamond cutting wheel. I've used it for a couple of odd bits and pieces and I thought it was pretty good so I'm going to try it on this, the first thing I'm going to do. So what I intend to do is to first of all grind a cut a line around the outside of the feather image and I'm going to try and undercut it. In previous carvings I've done I've spent a lot of work undercutting to make the um, image stand out of the stone. Once I've cut that line around I'm just going to chisel in and get rid of the waste material as I've done before and uh, then then I'll have another think. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. So extractor on, dust mask on, I wear my eye goggles. I wear them anyway, so and then we'll make a start. bargained um, for how hard this sandstone is um, and I really it's a bit nerve-wracking doing that bit around there and I just don't want to hit that hard enough to get to there because I'll take too much off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind more off around here and weaken it and then perhaps just grind it all out or um, then have another go with the chisel I just don't want to hit it too hard
so far so good we're getting there I have to say that I really really like these little diamond wheels they're not a lot of money I forget how much I pay but you get a pack of about 12 of them this one started to wear now it's not surprising this sandstone is very hard I don't know if you noticed but I was also using the edge of the wheel which is diamond coated I was trying to just round over this quill this is the quill of the feather and I was using the edge of it to try and round it over and I'm going to do a bit more of that because I think it was working but I really like those so the next thing is um, the next thing is I'm going to try and cut this area back here cut it down towards the quill and then smooth them both both sides and then smooth them and I'm going to try and use these, these little um, um, wheels you get, uh, carborundum wheels. They're, I think they're pretty much designed for use with wood. And I'm sure they'll work dry, but I don't know how well they'll work on this, this sandstone. As I say, this sandstone is very hard. But let's give it a go and see how we get on. I'm enjoying this. This is great fun. so far so good I'm really pleased with that so far I love using this bench grinder with the flex drive it's much quieter than the uh, park side and because this is a smaller tool it's easier to grip and you get more maneuverability with it so I'm really really pleased with it and it runs really smoothly as well which is nice Going back to the work, I've um, the edges where they're quite sharp edges. There's a slight roughness to them now. If I was doing a lot of things, I would sand that down. But um, 
because this is a feather and it you know you would expect it to have slightly rough edges I'm going to leave that uh, you saw me try the carbo wheels I won't use them again on this type of stone the stone's too hard and what's happening is the carborundum is burning and lit and marking the stone so I had to clean it off with a diamond roller I use this diamond roller I think it's um, 120 grit which is quite fine just to um, clean it off and it's I'm quite pleased with it so far I have to think about the next bit what I'm concerned about is that I want to make it, because this could be a leaf, sort of, not quite, but I obviously want to put some lines in it to show that it's a feather, but I'm not sure how to do it. At the moment, I'm not sure how to do that, I'm, I, because I'm at the stage now where um, I think that's not bad and I don't want to cock it up, so I'm going to have a little think. And I might have a little practice on the back of this stone to see what I think is going to do the job. look nice when you've washed them off. I'm very pleased with that. A feather paperweight. I suppose you call it a featherweight. <laughs> um, the big revelation of doing this was to find out how good this flex drive is coupled with the Ferrex grinder, bench grinder. That's worked really well. I've, I've loved using that. Um, the carborundum tools don't work on this sandstone, this Indian sandstone. It's much too hard. So learning all the time. These diamond wheels are just fantastic. I mean, I've just used one diamond wheel on this job. And although it's pretty worn now, it's done sterling service and it's still got wear in it for side grinding and what have you. I really enjoyed it. So... 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope it inspires you to have a go. It's not that difficult and doesn't require a lot of equipment. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more crafting projects similar to this, please subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more from now on. Otherwise, have a nice day and take up stone carving. It's terrific fun. Thank <laughs> you.